Yo guys, what is going on? It is Darcy back here, and as you guys can see, I only have these red pills and an axe on me, so, you guys might have guessed it, I don't know, but you might have done, we're gonna go to that red town, so, um, this, this episode could be very, very long, where I get a lot of loot and some rad gear, or it could be very, very short, and also in this episode I might put all the doors on here, so, Cause less threat. We're also getting charcoal in there, so we can go raiding in future episodes. But we need tech trash to go raiding with C4. So I need to find out how you get there. I also need to repair up this whole entirety of this base because it's not all done yet, still. But I did go out farming for about 20 minutes before this episode, so we might be able to do that at the end of the episode either way. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna pop up all these pills, and we're gonna go in there and hopefully get some kind of decent gear. Some rad gear will be nice. One, because it's very sellable on this server right now. And, um, two, because I'm going to want it if I want to go back in there. And to be honest, I don't want to go back in there. I think we're going to start off with going up this tower. I mean, I don't know if that's a very good idea, because we've got to get back down of, off of it afterwards. But we're going to start taking a few of these pills. And I know for a fact they do some serious, serious issues with your, uh, water. Which, uh, you know... Not very good. Which dehydrates you extremely quickly. Um, so yeah. But we haven't found any water bottles yet. So there's our main issue with the dehydration. We can't actually take too many pills. Oh well. Alright. I'm going to quickly take one more. That's three rad pills popped. And only 50 health left. So... We've got to be pretty careful right now. I wish you could probably hear my keyboard like clicking like mad. Um, yeah. Okay. When does the radiation start then? Ooh. Hang on, what? There's like no radiation in this, this specific section. Oh, the radiation's off. Wait, well, boys, right, I've got, got to get in there and do all this quick because it turns out the radiation is off right now. Okay. Let's um, yeah, do this place quick. Let's get everything, get out of here before the radiation comes back on. Because if it does, man, I'm gonna have to get back home quick AF. Because I am not dying today if the radiation is off. Which, if I realised, I probably would have done sooner and not have actually have taken those pills. But um, this place might have actually been looted, or it just hasn't spawned yet. But the helicopter isn't up either, so we're lucky in that respect as well. Um, in the way of that it isn't going to come over and make us stay in here and force us to probably end up dying. Okay, first loot, and it is, okay, some metal sheet. Is that metal? Is it a metal sheet? Sheet metal. Um, you would have thought they would have actually just made you use that for sheet metal doors, but obviously not. It's actually used for something other than sheet metal doors. I don't know what it is, but something other than sheet metal doors, obviously. Because I've got sheet metal doors, I don't have to use it, but I'm looking to upgrade to armor doors after I get my quarry. But that's not right now. Alright, let's go down here and get this quickly. Also, I'm really, really happy with this frame rate I'm getting right now on this new uh, update. It seems really, really nice. I don't know why. It, it probably shouldn't be this good, but it really is. Also, oh, this acoustic noise that they've now added in. Whoa. That sounds good. I mean, in some situations it sounds really, really nice, but in the majority of them I don't really think it makes so much of a difference that anyone really cares that much. But, you know, it's nice, I suppose. Um, yeah, okay, this is getting a little bit too dark. So there's pretty much nothing down there then. We're up where we sort of started. Let's go over here, uh, check out this, and hopefully not die. I was hoping we could get some rad gear today, um, or whatever it's called, so that we can come in here slightly more often, even when the radiation is on. So that we didn't, uh, so we don't die. Okay, so we've got the recycler, which I'm pretty sure is kind of like a newish thing. Which kind of gives you like, metal frags and whatever. You can put your components in there, turn it on, and you get other items out of it, pretty much. That's the main purpose of it. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's like, have I literally just done the exact, well then. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, I probably shouldn't have just done that, but whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Alright. I'm actually that little yellow symbol don't come back on. Because if it does, I've got to bolt my ass out of here. Because I ain't dying today. I'm not going to die. Alright. Okay, right, we're dehydrated. I can deal with that. Um, Because... 
That could be food, or that could be radiation stuff, or that could be whatever. Who knows? I don't even know where you, where you even get the red stuff. Um, Alright, that's food. That's good, because that means dehydration will now go. So that's all good. Alright. That's all okie dokie. Okay, like I told you, I'd deal with it, you know? I'd deal with everything. In an appropriate manner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, some dude asked on my latest video, except for this one, what my purpose of doing YouTube is. So... Uh, he told me that I get so little views, he doesn't see the point in me really doing what I do. Now, I messaged back saying that the point of it was really because I found that when I do videos, my channel started to grow. But not really that, as in the fact that even if I don't continue to do this, if it gets to a point where I can't continue to do it because I've got college like in two years' time or something, and I can't do it anymore, and it gives me something to look back on. And th like this is, I've started many YouTube channels before, I will admit I have. And none of them went to plan, and none of them actually continued. Whereas this one, I've actually stuck to it and kind of continued it. So, it, it's kind of an achievement. So, it's somewhere along my life goals that's there. And it won't ever get deleted, unless if I do something stupid, obviously. Then it'll get deleted. But, um... It's something that I can look back on if I ever wanted to. And so, that's kind of another reason as to why it's here. And in the fact of that it's just something that I've always watched as a young child, and I still watch now... Alright, and I'm still technically speaking a young child, but whatever. And I'll probably also continue to watch for as long as it's around, really. And most of my favourite YouTubers got big just before I was watching them, or got big while I was watching them. So, it's like, it's not something that I feel like that I should do. Even though getting big is ridiculously difficult, and that's not what I'm here to do. I just like making videos. And also, if I'm playing the video games as it is, so like this, um, and I've got no one to talk to right now, because um, I can't be bothered to get on the TeamSpeak uh, stuff with all the guys from the last wipe. Um, it just gives me a nice little solo thing that I can do as well. And it means I've got a little community building up that's, that's, that's kind of a good thing. And a lot of people would say that that's like, oh, you're just talking to yourself in front of a microphone. Like, how's, how's that a good thing? It's like the majority of my videos are just done majority because I just sit here and play the video game and at the same time of playing the video game I thought well I might as well as record this and upload this to the YouTube channel it's like I mean to the point as of where it's daily uploads that could be said that that's untrue but to be honest I literally just sit here and play these games either way so even if um, I don't think there's any loot in here today but even if I wasn't uploading I'd still probably be playing Rust so yeah there really isn't much of a point in me not... Okay, right, I need to split them up, for sure. There's really not much of a point of me not sitting here and playing it. Or of me not actually recording it, if I'm just going to sit here and play it anyway. Come on, rad gear, now. we got gears, actually, I need that. Because with the gears, we are going to make a quarry. I think it was the quarry that needs gears. Yeah, it needs... 15 gears, that's it. 15 gears, and we currently have... Now with that, we have 12, so yeah... I went up one of these um, while I was playing by myself one time, and I almost died, so please don't kill me, and please give me some good loot. Is there any loot up here? I don't think they're all. Okay, we can go inside. I've never, I've never actually got to this point here. I just usually die before this point somehow. Okay, so we did get a med pack. Not really what I'm looking for in, to be, in today's episode, to be honest. I'm looking for that real loot. I'm looking for that good stuff, the stuff that we need to keep this series alive, so, some tech trash. I'm also going to have to search up how to get that, because that's only something I looked at recently. About three minutes before I started this video. Um, well, I did mention it in the last episode, I do believe, but, you know. Uh, didn't actually search it up. So, I need to search up what that is, find out how I can get that. I'm going to guess it's either very, very rare, or you can make it out of certain items. Will that actually hurt me? Okay, so little wooden spikes hurt me, but running through barbed wire doesn't phase a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so this episode is actually going to be way longer than I thought it was, because it means I can actually explore things, but doesn't seem to be that much in this uh, area for once. I mean, ooh, 10? 10 rad pills? Okay. We'll be coming in more often, guys. I mean, usually there's some really, really nice loot, but I reckon because the radiation's gone, everyone's just rushed here. Taking all that blooming loot from me, you know, all that all that lovely juicy loot that I was gonna pick up, you know. All that rad gear, all that rad loot, you know. And now it's all gone. And now 
I'm left to pick up, you know, the, the barrels and, and stuff like that, you know. N nothing wrong with that, though, let's be honest. Who doesn't want the barrels in this game? I mean, I was about to say, you know, getting you all that XP, and then I was like, but you don't get XP anymore, do you? And then I thought to myself, you know, what's a wonderful world. What? Uh, not not uh, commenting on any songs. What are you on about? <laughs> right, well, anyway. Let's continue this, all jokes aside. And not sounding like an idiot. And doing some stupid voice crackity stuff. I think I'm just going to run about a million miles right now. And see if I can find another form of like red towny basey thing. And if not, I can always come back to this one, hopefully when there's slightly more loot in it. So, I'll see you guys when I've done that. Okay, this is going to sound really, really weird. But I'm about to get all these wooden spears, and I'm going to try and kill a horse which is behind me. Just the wooden spears, because I didn't bring my bow out with me, because I didn't think I'd need it, and also I thought the radiation would kill me, but there isn't none. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to try and get this. No way. What? First spear straight to the head and it kills it. I did not know that would happen. Well, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna chop this thing up, uh, which gets me a little bit of cloth and stuff. And I'll see you guys when I actually do something else slightly more interesting, I suppose. Oh, okay, guys. So, as you guys can see right here, I've come across someone else's base. I don't know whose it is, so I'm just gonna go quickly run around it. This could be one of my friends, so I'm going to have to be very careful with what I do with this, but it actually looks like it's been raided. I can't really tell, but we'll find out when we get around to the front gate if it's not there. But, um, my base doesn't look near as powerful as this thing, and this thing looks like it's been raided, so... Oh no, it hasn't. Okay. It just looked like it. Alright, well, anyway. If that thing could possibly get raided... Then God knows what could happen to my base and what the hell was that lag? Like? Oh, what the hell did I hit with that? Okay. That's gonna say my name on it now. I'm not gonna get that. I didn't think about that, but obviously it depends if they're on right now, whether they get that or not, but you know. I'm just gonna continue to run in this direction and see what stuff I find. I mean I really don't know where I am on the map, so I'm just running around hopelessly trying to get a few things. Or or so something useful, okay? So I'll see you if I find something useful. If I don't, I'll loop back round, get back to the old red town and see if anything else has spawned in there. But, yeah. See you with whatever choice I make. So I haven't got that much further up from the last stop. And I've not only found another base, but also found another horse up there. So we're going to try our little, uh, our little throwing spear in face tactic again and see what happens if we can catch up with him. Right, he's right there. See that massive base behind it? Um, I think I need to go there and see... If I know the person who owns it. I mean, quite a lot of people on the server seem to add signs on their front door. So we can find out who they are. But, you know, some of them don't. Get this guy. Oh, my days. Right, he's gone. That that just means he's gone. Like, let's be honest. You miss him and they run into the rocks. It means there's no way you're getting him. But they're gone. So, yeah, we're going to miss that. And, um, to be honest, it doesn't bother me that much. I mean, we just really need the animal fat. So, yeah, we're going to go check out this base. And it seems to be kind of like a design like mine. It looks like it might have been raided. Has this been raided? I cannot tell. This definitely looks raided, but it also looks like a kind of design like mine. So, I mean, not my design. Mine is quite easy to raid. So there's double doors there. By the looks of things, um, nothing, and nothing. Okay. So it looks like maybe this was just like a little decoy base, and just there to troll people, or maybe they take out the roofs when they want to go in there. Who knows? Also, I'm sorry if you guys can hear my dogs barking. Um, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't in the videos. But, you know. I'll see you guys when I find something interesting. I mean, I'm going to at least get to the desert today, I suppose. No way. Okay. Alright, I've got to be so careful with what I do. I was about to say see you guys later. And I was. This, this is a big deal, okay? I just got hazmat boots. Just do 10 on the radiation. So pretty much no matter what now, alright, I mean obviously the radiation will still affect me quite a lot because 10 isn't that much, but 10? That's still hazmat gear, come on. Ah, stop sign. But if we can unlock more hazmat gear today or within the next few episodes, that'd be sick because it'd be so cool to roll in there with full hazmat gear. Come on, you guys got to admit, that would be awesome. So, um, 
yeah, I'm going to be opening up every single one of them I see from now on. I'm looking for hazmat gear, I suppose. Is that another base down there? I think it is. Like, I literally barely even have to cut anything. It's just bases everywhere and just hazmat gear everywhere, you know? Um, okay, that didn't... Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> there's another base down there. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm going to... Okay, there's another two bases down there. I think I'm going to swing a little bit to the left. Um... Just in case there is anyone in them, because I'm going to be more, slightly more cautious now, because that stuff I've got is way more important than pretty much anything. Get myself a bit of cactus flesh, so I have something to eat in terms of waterness. Waterness, you know. I don't want to be wasting those bottles of water if they're useful. Oh, God, right. Well, then. I think I'm just going to take a load of cactus flesh home. Um, I'm pretty sure you only get two or three from each cactus either way, so... Yeah, I'll take a few of these home so I have some kind of supply of water other than food itself. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to chuck that out. We have some cactus flesh now, so that's all good. I mean, we have one spear left, which is kind of an issue. Oh, okay, right, satellite up there. Let's go to the satellite and see what we can find, because I'm pretty sure there's lo always loot up satellite, isn't there? I'm pretty sure there's loot in the satellites. Also, I don't know if these barrels give me hazmat gear, so if they do... Down in the description down below. I mean, I've got one bit of hazmat so far, but that's not enough, all right? I need you guys to tell me what else would give. Right, that's been done recently. What else would give me hazmat, all right? Um, so yeah. I mean, I do kind of need to be careful, but the majority of people on this server are friendly as it is, so I should be okay. Um, but with the fact of having hazmat boots. I don't feel so safe in the way of the if I even get remotely killed, someone then has some good rate good like rad gear like well any amount of rad gear is good, so let's put it that way. Um okay. They want me to take off that now, you know. Um because it's a bit too hot for them. Next thing you know it'd be too cold, but oh well. What can you do? I mean I prefer all of that off and making myself look like a scrub rather than not only actually, technically speaking, being a scrub like, like I am. It'd be pretty cool if these were actually, like, movable. If, like, edges going up, then they, like, started to creak and stuff, and, like, eventually they would fall. Like, if that many people went up them. So then you'd kind of know if people just kind of went up these a lot. I, I don't know. It'd be pretty cool if there was a bit of motion to them rather than being just solid, because, I mean, look at them. They're very rusty, and over time they will probably collapse, so they probably should collapse and then get rebuilt somewhere else, if you know what I mean. Sounds a little bit weird, but I think that sort of concept is pretty cool. I don't know. You guys give your opinion down below. I think that concept would be a pretty awesome concept if it had to come down to it. Um, right, what's this idea then? Oh, nothing. And I just kind of phased and glitched through that then. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to be able to do that, but I mean, you can't glitch through that bit, so, you know. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to just drop through these bars around here somewhere. I don't want to drop through them again, but then... I don't think you are, but I did. Um, I think I just heard some gunshots, like, very faintly. So, I'm going to get this, check the other one, and just continue on my run. Because I don't want to come across anyone if I don't have to. Alright? Absolutely no one. Get some more, some, some more rad stuff, um, hopefully. Along the way. Yeah, it sounds like gunfire. I don't know. I mean, the majority of people don't kill each other on the server anyway. It's usually, if anything, clan wars on the server, or just raiding. Nobody really um, fights on the server. Nobody really goes against each other with guns. So, little output base thing over there. Oh, come on. Ah, spring. I mean, springs are useful because you use them in weapons, I believe. Uh, nothing up here. Okay. Let's go back down, all the way down to the bomb here. Try not to be as daring as possible because screw that. With these hazmat boots, I ain't losing them. All right. Um, okay, I think there's a little hut thing over here, or some something, whatever you want to call that. Um, another broken down satellite dish thing. What does this have around it? Pretty much nothing. I can imagine this is quite a high concentration on a um, higher population server. I can imagine that there's tons of people coming in this section, like, if you know what I mean. It just wouldn't surprise me if this section here, on a real server, would just be absolutely full with people. So, um... Yeah, right, we're going to finish up looting this, and then I think we'll go back to our base, because... Well, as I was about to say, imagine, imagine getting more hazmat gear in there and being like, well, 
definitely worth continuing there. <laughs> that would have been the perfect, perfect, perfect point for me to stop the video. But um, anyway, I, I was just about thinking of stopping the video, but I don't really want to. I want to continue going, but I don't want to die. All right, and either way, I'm gonna have to go drop this stuff off back at my base soon, because I've got like no space, and I'm not losing this hazmat stuff. Um, but let's see if I can actually get through this door. Uh, no loot. That uh, kind of sucks a little. But what can you do about that? Um, I was hoping for a bit of hazmat gear then, but you know. Oh, come on! Second chance at it. No, no loot again. Maybe that's just a glitch right now. With the new component system, they probably have to be somewhat careful with what they're doing. And there's probably a few glitches, and there's not much they can do about that. Alright. I think I'll go into a few more of these trash piles, get some radiation pills. And then get the hell out of here, because I don't want to stay too long. Alright. The more people on the server, the worse it is. And I mean, this, this server isn't a very high pop server, so... The majority of the time you're fine, but... You never know with a new wipe comes new people. And with new people comes new problems. So, uh, yeah. I mean, that, I suppose that, that could be taken as a, that's a pretty good quote, isn't it? Like, a new wipe comes new people. And with new people comes new problems. That's well good. I, I've never even thought about that before. Like, that's such a good quote. <laughs> it really isn't, is it? I'm sorry, guys. I probably shouldn't be sitting here calling myself good at what I'm doing. That noise scared the absolute life out of me. It's just a little buzzer on the front of this thing here. It scared the life out of me. I thought that was radiation. I was about to slap on these boots and be like, Yo, what is up, radiation? You cannot touch me. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go back to my base now and deposit all of this stuff. Um, we've got a decent amount in, this, in today's episode. So, um... Yeah, I mean, we even got hazmat gear, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the next episode where maybe we go test out the hazmat gear, see how much stuff it can really do. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in that episode, but this is it for this episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.